Hey guys, so today I'm just gonna have a Dollar Tree haul and this is just the stuff that I've bought like over the past weeks or month or whatever. I have a lot of stuff that I bought from there that I just simply don't have anymore because I, well I have it but I put it away so I don't know what is which and I'm not gonna try to look for everything. I did the best I could at trying to find everything and don't mind my hair because it's not looking the best today you guys. So we're just gonna go ahead and move past all that. So first things first, I have this. I've had this for like a month now, and it's the Lusty Organics Olive Oil Detangling Spray. I do like it, but I did have to add water to it like I do with all of these Lusty Organic sprays. I find that they work better when I add water. But otherwise, this is a great spray. I'd buy it again. The only thing that I probably would pick the hair sheen over this one is because it has the Ammo Dimethicone in it in the ingredients list. So I probably wouldn't buy it again for that if I was trying to be like a silicone-free type thing, but otherwise, this is great. Then I bought the, well my mom actually got this, but this is the foot scrub, the tea tree oil foot scrub. And this product I actually don't like that much because it doesn't scrub anything. It's just like, it's like cream and then it's like, it's like 90% cream and like 10% like exfoliating beads so it doesn't really do anything it is a great moisturizer but it's not a very great um, actual scrub so I've been using this as like a hand moisturizer I know that sounds kind of weird because it has beads in it but this like the beads really do not exfoliate anything at all so I just kind of you know take it rub it on and then wipe off the little uh, pieces of walnut or whatever and um, after that, my hands are pretty good, so that's what I've been trying to use this up as. And then I use it when I'm playing with my dolls as like a hair cream or like a conditioner or hair cream or something. I play with it like that, but otherwise I wouldn't use it for anything else because it doesn't scrub anything. Then I got an LA Colors little black book of eyeshadows. I got another one. Here's my old one that I've had. Um, well, it's not really too old. I've only had it for like... I don't know. You guys can see that that that's pretty bad. That's how you know how much I've been really using this and I've already hit pan on the orange. I really do like this palette. The orange is not the most pigmented, this one right here. Um, so I have to use a lot of it. That's why I actually hit pan and the shadows in this are not huge. But I do really like this one. I don't know why I thought this was like a crappy eyeshadow palette. Maybe because I never used the other colors. I only used the orange and the orange isn't that good. So yeah, but I really did like this one. So I decided to go ahead and pick up the colorful one. And this one is called Glam. The other one was called Natural. But here's Glam. And you guys can see, um, I did just get this like last week. So um, the color is like, it doesn't look too crazy on the pan. But I do really like all of the colors. All of them came out perfectly. They were nice. They were pigmented. Um, they were really, really nice. I like it. And if they have any other color schemes, like one with blue or something, I'll be buying that one as well. Because I do need a blue one. And these are great because you get um, like 12 eyeshadows, I think. Let me count them. Now you get 15 eyeshadows for a dollar, and like you really can't beat that. I've never seen any other palette that gives you 15 eyeshadows for a dollar. Even though they're small, they're still really nice quality. Then I just got, um, like I said a while ago, like two, three weeks ago, I got a Carmex lip balm. I haven't had Carmex in a while. I used to get one whenever my dad and brother would get one, but I haven't had Carmex in a while, so I just decided to get it, and it works really nice. Then I got some Tic Tac Berry. This was like Sunday, I think, but I buy these all the time. So I don't know. I think I get like two packs a week on average or something. Like these are really, really good. The Tic Tac Berry. The Tic Tac Fresh Mints are also good. And here's what they look like in the pack. This one's already been opened. So yeah, this is just the Tic Tac Berry. They're blue and they taste really good. Like they taste like candy. They're really addicting. So that's just that. And then I got my favorite toaster pastry. I like these even better than regular Pop-Tarts because um, I have had regular Pop-Tarts before and that's what I used to get until I found these and I was like, hmm, maybe I should try these out. And I like these so much better than regular Pop-Tarts because they're not as sugary so I can eat them more. So last time, well last week, I got blueberry and um, blueberry is great but I've been getting that for like the past like couple weeks consecutively so I decided to try out some different flavors um first I got a frosted strawberry I've had these before they're just the regular strawberry toast and pop-ups these are really good if you like pop tarts I recommend them there sometimes you can find like dupes of like name brand products that aren't that good but this yes these are delicious to me I really like them so I got the um frosted strawberry and these come with six in them but it's really like three packs of you know, toaster pastries, but I don't know why they, like, fool you. Like, six? No, you're getting three packs in here, and you're going to eat the whole pack. Um, and then I have a frosted wild berry, with, like, which I've already um, tasted it, and it's really, really good. So this one, it looks like it just has blueberry, strawberry, and raspberry in it. Um, this one doesn't taste like strawberry. It doesn't taste like blueberry, so I'm assuming that these are supposed to taste like 
wild berry, but to me they taste like raspberry. Like I can't taste any like strawberry or blueberry in them, but they just, they're really good. I really like them and it's a nice taste. It's a good berry. So I got these and here's what they look like if you guys were wondering. The strawberry ones obviously look like Pop-Tarts, but here's what these look like. And I think Pop-Tarts also has a wild berry if I'm not mistaken, but yeah, so that is my small Dollar Tree haul. I did not get too much, but I, I know I bought more stuff than this, but I just, like I said, I put it away and I don't know what I did with it. Um, I probably got some baby stuff recently. If I did, then I'll be doing a haul um, on my doll channel, which is Hugs for Dolls. I'll leave the link to that down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.